Hello, happy Wednesday. Ooh. <laughs> I've been playing, body, can you tell? <laughs> I had a lovely printed poster, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that had Jan Urban Gypsy and everything on it, and nobody could see it. So I bought a little kiddies felt and numbers board, so hopefully everybody can see that now. <laughs> I don't know where to put it though, it's a bit. <laughs> Uh, I'll put it, I'll put it down here for the moment. <laughs> I'll put it back when I finish showing. Well, my work's in progress still is this. I've got to this bit here. The rest of it's done. It's going to have that across. Ooh, can't put it there. This is the bottom of the sleeve. It's going to have that across the neck if you can visualise it. It's got wide sleeves and it's looking a bit paler actually on camera than it is um, in real life. So I've got to do two strips of that which is going down there to there and then I've got to do a wide strip across there and all being well it should finish up looking Like that. Like that. I will be glad to see the end of it. <laughs> I'm being truthful here now. It has been a labour of love. And uh, I have not enjoyed it at all. <laughs> but end of story. It's nearly done now. And Janet will be heaving a big sigh of relief. Oh dear. So I hope its owner likes it because I'm not doing another one. <laughs> <laughs> Never ever again. The book is going to the back of the shelf. Uh, well, what have I been up to since I've been on here last? Well, if you weren't watching Saturday Live, you will have uh, not known that about five, ten minutes before I was due to go live, um, I stepped over my son's dog. I've done it hundreds of times before. I've been told off hundreds of times before by my son saying, one of these days she'll move. So I was halfway over, stepping over her, when she decided she'd stand up. So she caught me and I overbalanced and I went flying into the bookcase. <laughs> so luckily the bookcase saved me. I didn't actually, you know, land on the floor. Could have done much more damage if I had landed on the floor. And um, the following day, I was absolutely really surprised that I had no bruises. I felt that I had bruises. I felt really stiff and sore. On the day after that, which was Monday, oh, I couldn't move at all. So stiff. You know, when you've overdone it in the gym. <laughs> Not that I would know for a very long time how to overdo it in the gym. Um, but no bruises. I am really, really surprised I haven't got bruises because I felt like I bruised every bit of my body down one side. So, very resilient. Because I usually bruise if anybody touches me. Bruise, bruise, you know. So, what else am I doing? Well, as you know, I'm going to do the a green cape for a friend of mine in Scotland. And um, I just thought, well, I'll have a practice run at it. So, I bought this pattern. From a lady on Etsy which you may make make it work but I just couldn't it's called a funky hooded shawl by earth tricks and I don't know what I was doing but it just wasn't coming out big enough for me it wasn't coming out in a um, in a big enough triangle for me to even attempt to put a hood on it I tried it on her and it just came like to the edge of her shoulders so Everything I did on Saturday Live, I had to undo. So last night, um, I thought I'll start with the hood. So I started with the hood bit. As you can see, I was using all the ends I'd been unravelling, so there's an awful lot of bits for me to stitch in, but we won't look at that. So, and then I've picked up and started the bottom of it from the end of the hood. And I'm going to be putting three... Where's it gone now? Oh, there's one, two, 
three increases not just one in the middle of the back because it wasn't going wide enough quick enough if you know what I mean so I'll let you know how I'm going on with that this is just like a practice run because the other one that she wants has got a different hood it's got a long hood with a long elfin pointy hood but this is just using up some ice it's ice yarn and some others in Aran, you know, black Aran and sort of like a... Oh, that's a... That's a double knit. That was an Aran. I'm just using up some oddments, really. Um, hoping that, you know, I can make something of it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I've gained a cough from somewhere. I shall have a sip of water. It's not gin. I honestly, it's not gin. Or vodka, just water, because I've got a tickle. Right, you've heard me mention the in, in to weave crochet. Look how thin it is. Thin. Used to be the go to magazine, didn't it? But I must admit, I had a subscription with it because nobody around here sells it. And I had the last two, I mean, Sue liked a couple in the last two. Um, that I didn't like, but this one I'm afraid I don't think I like any of them. Any, any, any of them. Well, Sue should be uh, coming to visit at the end of the month, so hopefully we will see her then. Um, there's all the usual adverts, of course, which are usually far better than the patterns. This one, it doesn't look too bad looking at it but when you look at the side view it's got absolutely no sides in whatsoever I suppose you could sew them up couldn't you but it doesn't float my boat that is not that bad I suppose but it's just not me neither are those two I mean, I'm, don't let me put you off. You may like them. It's just that I don't. <laughs> and I thought that loopy things went out with the arc. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they make it a comeback. A friend of mine is going to the knitting and stitching show. Starting tomorrow down in, I think it's Birmingham. So I've given her strict instructions that she's got to look if there's any... Thin, um, grocery worth looking at and take photos from it. This one is like myriads and myriads and myriads of little tiny circles, which is my idea of hell. <laughs> um, top. don't like it. As I say, maybe you like it, I just don't. I suppose the hat I could take a leave, but I don't really care for the handbag. I just looked through it and on the day I looked through it I was just like, oh, this is so disappointing. And I think that's it. That is it. Oh, I don't know how many circles that shawl takes. Just tells you to. Oh, it doesn't tell you how many. Just tells you how to join them all and carry on going, but it doesn't actually say how many there's in it. Oh, there's a lot. There is a lot. Two minutes, three times. One, two, three. Three times sixteen. What's that? Forty-eight. So there's forty-eight of those little teeny circles with the infills in between. Welcome to Fibre Nation. It's just an article. That's another top. That's a cake.
a necklace and a shawl. Notice I'm not saying anything because you can tell I'm enthusiastic, can't you? A necklace in the top. And a bag and a long scarf. That is it. And it's raining. It's a surprise, isn't it? Such a surprise. Yes, well. So I'll just go with it. Right. Oh, another of my conquests, my acquisitions. One of them's just fallen down the chair. It's one of my latest earrings. And another pair. And a pair of purple, purple ones. And I think the other black earring must have gone down the chair somewhere. I'll find it later. Right, you're going to look at these with me because they've just arrived. So I bought a jewellery bundle. That's how I usually buy my jewellery. That's, oh. Seems to have, oh no, it's there. It just needs a bit of repair. It's lost its little thing. I'll have to get my little pliers out. When you buy a bundle, you get what you get given, if you know what I mean. Oh, it's got some earrings in there. What have we got in here? This looks interesting. Very sort of Aztec, isn't it? I love buying bundles of jewellery because you never quite know if they're going to be absolutely awful or what are they going to be. What is that? Oh, it's an earring. Oh my goodness me. That is very hoopla. Very gypsy-ish, isn't it? Hopefully there's another one in there <laughs> to match it because I'm not going around with one earring. Oh yes, there's another one. This looks interesting. Very sort of sweety colours, aren't they? Reminds me of little sweets. You know, that you used to put on a little string round your neck. Very nice. What else have I got here? Oh, I've got those. These remind me of, you know, North American Indians, whatever. They're probably not anything to do with Indians, but that's what it reminds me of. There's a green one and a blue one. Reminds me of Indian beadwork, but it's probably never seen an Indian. Or am I supposed to say, uh, I'm not supposed to say that, am I? Uh, a native. North American is it or something I'm supposed to say these days. I get all confused with these PC things, yeah. I do honestly. Right, this is another necklace which is hooked up together a bit weird. Let's put it where it's supposed to be. That's another nice one, isn't it? All beads, dangles. It seems to be a beaded theme this, doesn't it? That's another lot of beads. And I think we're on the last one now. Oh no. There's a little ring in there. That's a teeny tiny one. Won't fit me, that's for sure. That'll be one for uh, Sue's granddaughter. <laughs> well, it's not one, not. But I don't want. want because a lot of the bracelets, I can't fit them on my wrist because I've got fat wrists. And that's the last one in the bunch. 
it's got little feathers and Ooh, won't stop twisting. Let me get hold of it so it stopped twisting. There we go. Yay! Right, finally, what everybody's been waiting for is my. Oh, it says, please check your parcel before receiving. Do not accept a damaged parcel. Well, it wasn't damaged, it was all over the place. This is Hobia. I've been asked to do a series of, like, um, a series of things with um, organic cotton from a friend of mine who has a web page which is going to be a marketplace, a selling place, which once it's got the link and everything, I'll put it so you can go and have a look at it. Uh, because I believe she'll be selling all over the world once it's started. It's going to start off a bit like an Etsy, but uh, she's doing it by herself. It's not like an Etsy corporation. And um, she's aiming for handcrafted everything. Um, you know, there won't be any like there is in Etsy now, selling stuff that they, they buy and, you know, won't be anything like that. It'll be um, just people like myself and selling things like jewellery, grocery, and, uh, all kinds of things. So once it's really up and running, it more or less is now. I'll put a link underneath or I'll put a link on the Facebook page, whichever. Oh, and talking about Facebook pages, Marva, if you're watching, I have sent you yet another email. And either something is wrong, either you've given me the wrong email or something's going on. So um, if you want to message me, message me on Facebook if you can, yeah. And then we'll sort out what it is you want, yeah. Uh, it's called Cartope Organica. Now, I was looking at three different pages and I think I've whoopsied onto another page, if you know what I mean. Because I didn't mean to order anything this fine. It's beautiful. And it's very corded. It's like a mercerised um, corded feel to it. But it's um, meant to be used by on a two... 250 I think it is hook so I would say it's more of a fingering it's called Organica now when I first looked in the packet I thought I've only ordered two colours why have I only ordered two colours but although that one is close in colour it isn't if you look at it closely they're both grey but they're both slightly different they didn't look that close actually on the, uh, I think that looked more of a blue on the paper, but this is the only problem when you're not like myself, you can't go shopping. But I have looked online, you know, for the UK branded organic cotton and what bit that there was, was actually about two, three times the price of this. And when you're making to sell like I am, it's just prices itself out of the market, you know what I mean? So I'm still waiting for um, some more organic cotton coming from, I keep calling it Hobby Eye. <laughs> and Kelly insists it's called Hobby. It's H-O-B-B-I. This came from Hobium, by the way. And also I got a lovely cream. So as I'm only, oh, if, if I put them like that, you can see the difference. This actually has a very slight blue cast to it. But it is very mercerised. I don't know whether you can see it or not. Whether my camera will focus or just go into a horrible blur. I think it's going to be really lovely to work with. It's very, very sort of corded. I mean, I'm only making little summery tops, so I'm not too bothered about it being finer. That's not too bad from that. Oh, I found the other earring. <laughs> That's my other earring. Found it, found it. And I also found um, on eBay, it's from a lady called, uh, oh, she's not got a name on here, but it's on here, Mini, Mini Murray's. But these are to go with the colours that I've ordered from Hobium. It's very difficult to get, like, you know, the pastel shades in buttons. I've got lots of buttons in. in fact I'm going to go out shopping shortly 
and there's a, a kind of an old sort of shop on the village that uh, sells those plastic boxes. So I need to get some more plastic boxes and really, really reorganise my buttons because they're all over the place in the garage. They're not in any order, shape, form. <laughs> so you have to look through every box to find out what you want. So I need to get a bit more organised. You know, like put pink buttons, whatever. Get them all organised. So I've ordered some more fancier buttons um, through eBay, of course. I'm the eBay queen, aren't I? And um, different, but these, they only did this and I've ordered a cream. I didn't want white because I've not ordered any white yarn. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. And as to what I'm making, you'll see very shortly. All I'll say is it's very summery. <laughs> And uh, it's all to go on this new um, page called the Makers Making Mart, I think it's called. I won't put a link if I can to their Facebook page, uh, but you you really need to go to their proper selling page to see anything. Excuse me. If you haven't already seen it, Kelly's made a video of the organic cotton that we ordered from ICE. Um, the pale blue and the denim blue are mine, um, but I won't get them from Kelly until I see her. But that's not a problem, I've got plenty to go on with. And um, she's been off, off her crochet, she's sort of lost her mojo. We all do it, don't we, from time to time. And, um, but when this new ICE cotton comes, she said, I think I've been a bit inspired, I think I've, um, really want to start something so we'll see how she goes I mean I went through the same phase if you you know you know if you've been watching me I went through a phase where oh and then I'm sad to say that this order has just put me right off everything this is what made me decide I'm not doing any more custom orders it was just like it's not a particularly hard pattern it was just one of those things that got under my skin you know so I'm hoping she loves it when it's done because <sighs> enough said about that. <laughs> so I'm just dying to get to something that I really want to make that I'm enthused about. If I'm enthused about something and I really love it, I can crochet really fast. And I love making it and I'm enjoying every moment of it. But when I found I was doing custom orders, I found that I was slowing down and I was just not enjoying it anymore and this is why I thought no life's too short isn't it you need to just do what you want to make uh, hopefully they'll sell you know but I'm not going to be doing custom orders like somebody saying oh I like that but can I have it in a 60 inch bust no I'm just I'm not going there not going there um, I'm just doing what it is and if it is and people like it then they'll buy it if they don't tough bunnies on me isn't it but like I say, life is too short to be making things you're not enthused about. Um, I mean, I know the cape I'm going to start is is huge, but I'm really enthusiastic about making it. You know, the colours are nice and everything's nice about it. And, um, you know, once I get this cape sorted out, how it's going to fold. And, you know, I didn't want to start with um, my friends um, until I got the the drape of it right you know so I'm doing like a practice one if you know what I mean before I use start using her yarn um, I was I've still been hoping all week to take a photograph of all the different colors of greens and browns and in natural daylight because she's not going to be able to choose properly if things are in artificial light and you know it does alter the way things look I mean this look isn't looking half as dark as it is on the camera it's quite a a mink brown shade and it's got the in mean, the sleeves as you can see are very wide they, they do taper off but they've got this it kind of reminds me of like I can't remember what era it is but if you remember when they used to wear these low tops like underneath their bust I can't remember what era of clothing it is but that's what it reminds me of I mean obviously it wouldn't be like that You've, it's got to have this this border 
you know, across, otherwise it wouldn't be very modest, would it? It's got to have like that. <laughs> Can't do it, can I? I'm hopeless. It's got to have that running across the top, yeah? Or it could be that way up, I'm not sure which way up it goes, but anyway, I don't know when I'm doing it. I think it's that way up it goes. So that's going to be there, across the top, with the side pieces, and then the back's the same, but it's not as low as the back. So anyway, I think that's about it for now. I've just not been making videos, which is very bad of me. Um, as you know, I haven't been enthused about things lately. You know, making stuff and everything I seem to make's not turned out quite right, you know, and things like that. But it's coming lighter weather and I'm starting to feel much, much better because, you know, I have SAD and um, I just feel really depressed. This weather is not helping, but it's nice and bright, even though it's windy as heavy thin, nearly swore. Windy as anything, um, and in the middle of the night it blew my bin. I put my refuse bin out, because they come so early in the morning, I can't always guarantee that I'm up. And then in the middle of the night, boom, I thought, what was that? So I just peeked out the window and my bin was on its side and I thought, I'm not going out there, not at this time of the morning. Anyway, when I got up this morning, somebody had obviously picked it up again and stood it up. But when I looked, my tins and stuff were off. <laughs> Halfway up and down the street, so luckily it was like half seven. So I'm in my dressing gown, but there was nobody around really at that time of the morning. So I nipped out quickly and picked all I could and put it back in my bin again. So, I can still see a couple of bits floating up and down the, the street, so I'm going out in a bit, so I'll, maybe I'll pick them up and put them in my bin. <laughs> I'll put them in somebody else's bin that hasn't taken it in yet. Uh, we're like that on this street. <laughs> as long as we put the right things in the right bin, we're fine. Because we do all this colour coding recycling, I don't know whether you do that in America. But over in the UK, we've got a bin for paper, a bin for the tins and the glassware and stuff. A bin for normal uh, rubbish. And then we've got another bin for garden clippings, flowers and uh, food. Yeah. Unwrapped food. Yeah. In one of them. It's like compostable. Is that the word? Compostable? It's not combustible. No, <laughs> compostable, I think. So... Yeah, I think that's about it. I'm going to try to start making my videos again because I've been very, very lax over the last two or three months. I've just not been in the mood, basically. I've been watching a few videos, but I'm way, way behind with everybody's video. So if you normally get a comment from me and you haven't been having any, I have sometimes been watching them, but I've been watching them on the big TV. And um, I forget to come back in to use my computer and put comments on. I don't like watching them on my little tablet because it's all very small, you know. So, that's where I've been, yeah. But as for the weather in the UK, this storm, was it Godfrey or whatever it's called? Touching a bit of wood, where's some wood, don't know. Um, it's not really hit me up here, but, you know, down south, people down south have been getting really blustery, really. Gales and, you know, high winds and stuff. We don't have hurricanes as such. Uh, we're pretty, you know, good in the UK about things like that. We, we've had high winds and we've had gales and stuff, but, you know, we're pretty hardy breed over here. <laughs> and most of our structures are made out of brick. You know, the houses and things. We don't have wooden structures or um, anything like that. So they tend to stay put when things blow on them. They don't tend to take off and go sailing down the road, you know. They're pretty sturdy, our buildings. You might get a roof blown off here and there and a car blown over here and there, but that's about it, really. We've had flooding, of course, in certain parts of the country. Mostly through grids, you know, and drains in the road not being able to take the amount of water that's falling from the sky. And so it overflows and starts running down the street. And if it's so, you know, and then it flattens out, you get this enormous lake at the bottom of the street. I'm pretty lucky because my street goes down. 
and where it goes down to the bottom it carries on going down into a woodland and at the bottom of the woodland is a stream. So in, in cases of a flooding it would go down past Miss, you know, me, down and then down past the people even at the bottom of the street and it would go straight over and straight into the stream. Um, I mean I have seen the stream really badly flooded at some stages, it's been like halfway up the embankments, you know. Uh, but fortunately nobody lives down there so it uh, and I presume wildlife's got enough brains to get out of the way and get up a tree or something and um, you know you don't go down and see anything dead <laughs> washed up on the shore when I used to take my dog back down there he used to love it because the, the stream was like way wide you know way there's more water for me to paddle in and uh, but if you're wondering where Gigi is, he's, he's on guard, he's, he thinks the postman's coming. So, if you hear any barking, you know the postman's arrived, yes. So I'm going to um, nip out now. I didn't want to go out, but I've got to go to the pharmacy to get a prescription. Because I've run out, and it's my blood pressure tablet, so I need to go, if you know what I mean. And... Um, while I'm up there, I need to get a pencil sharpener because I've sort of lost mine somewhere. And I can't do with pencils that have a dull end. I write a lot in pencil, draw a lot in pencil. So I need a pencil sharpener. I don't know where I've put it. It's in a safe place. But for the cost of a pencil sharpener, I'm going to get another one, if you know what I mean. Can't hurt to have two pencil sharpeners. <laughs> I used to have more than one, and I don't know where they've all kept going. They've all kept disappearing one by one. Well, there's only me who lives here, so I can't blame anybody else for wandering off with it, can I? Oh, there's my phone, so I'll bid you farewell and go and answer my phone. So bye now.